Oh my god, I feel like Nicole Kidman in Moulin Rouge. Hey, this can't be happening. Come on. I I thought this was my apartment fifth floor. Fifth floor. Right. That that was amazing. There was nothing. No, it was above and beyond. I wouldn't have kissed you if I knew you had a girlfriend. It's okay, you didn't know. Well, why didn't you tell me? I didn't know you were gonna kiss me. Although the majority of 2020 consisted of people staying indoors and binging from the comfort of their couches, Netflix did something all travel geeks love and brought Emily in Paris to the screen. Despite the lukewarm response that the show has generally garnered, loyal fans are happily anticipating its renewal. We're counting down 10 things you need to know about Emily in Paris Season 2. Let's get started. Number 10. The second season is coming, but it's not certain when. Even though we ended Season 1 with a major cliffhanger at the end of Episode 10, there was no guarantee that Netflix would renew the show for a second season, especially considering how the audience response was rather lukewarm. However, news broke out in November 2020 that Emily shall soon be returning to magical Paris for more adventures after the contract for her stay in France was extended by Savior. And although Emily didn't have the greatest start with her French employers, she certainly settled in well with them now. Netflix may not have provided an exact timeline for when Emily and Paris fans can expect to see their favorite characters back on screen, but it's certainly going to be soon. We hope things return to the usual settings as the show was filmed entirely in Paris, which entered its second lockdown in October due to the crazy sporadic rise in COVID cases. Number 9. The Gang's All Here Emily formed quite the bond with all the different people she encountered during her time in Paris, and now that Gabriel is about to buy the restaurant, all of our favorite characters are here to stay. It was reportedly confirmed that all of the cast members will be returning for the show's second season during an interview with Oprah Magazine. Lily Collins will reprise her role as the titular character and social media extraordinaire Emily. Lucas Bravo is set to play the steamy chef Gabriel at the center of a love triangle. Camille Rosat will be reprising her important role as an art gallery owner. Ashley Park will remain as Emily's lovably loyal friend Mindy. And of course, the gang's not complete without the savior employees. Philippine Leroy Beaulieu as Emily's icy boss Sylvie, Samuel Arnold as Julian, and Bruno Guri as Luke. They'll all be breathing life into their characters once more this coming season. Number 8. Emily's Upcoming Evolution We love a good fish-out-of-water storyline, and Emily is the personification of exactly that. Most of Season 1 was centered on highlighting Emily's quirky nature and how she was struggling settling in. However, as Emily slowly got used to life in Paris, the world was her oyster, and now she's all set to become a major part of the fabric of the world she's living in. While there will be tons of obstacles for her to overcome, Emily will be settling into life in true Parisian fashion and all of us will be here to witness it. This is just the start of all the things she has to do and all the places she has to go. Number 7. Mindy's Romantic Endeavors In Season 1, we were introduced to Mindy, Emily's closest friend in Paris and an independent, lovable soul. Despite coming from an affluent family, Mindy is determined to stand her own ground and build a name for herself. Mindy has moved into Emily's apartment building toward the end of season one, which means she's probably going to be right in the middle of some very interesting drama. With Mindy's outgoing personality, Emily's quiet apartment life is sure to take a chaotic turn, and who knows, maybe Mindy might end up finding a little love interest of her own. Anything's possible in romantic Paris. Number 6. The Nail-Biting Love Triangle Fans went ballistic over that final season one scene, when Gabriel kissed Emily one moment and received a message from his ex-girlfriend Camille the next. As the episode ended and we were left hanging with the show's cast, too. There's so much chemistry within this triangle, and while Gabriel currently might be at the center of it, the interactions between Emily and Camille make it seem like the tide could easily shift in Emily's direction. Whichever way the compass rose, one thing's for certain, it's going to be one heck of a ride. Number 5. The Letter from Savior Suffice it to say that Netflix's marketing game has always been on point, but we weren't expecting them to go down the short and sweet route for the announcement of the Season 2 renewal. The grand announcement was made through a tongue-in-cheek letter from Emily's French boss, Sylvie Gratteau, to her American boss, Madeline Wheeler, and we're going crazy at the sweet, wholesome vibes it evokes for everyone. Sylvie mentions that despite Emily's overconfident demeanor and utter lack of experience, she's managed to charm her way into the hearts of everyone at Savior, and they would love to keep her in Paris longer. 
surprise, surprise. This means that our favorite girl Emily doesn't just have both of her boss's approval, but also an entire streaming platforms. Number 4. Emily and her traveling phone case While Emily's social media game is most certainly up for debate, given that her Instagram posts are rather unlikely to gain much traction or would actually turn her into an influencer, everyone is head over heels over her phone case, which in real life belonged to costume designer Patricia Field, who originally acquired it several years ago in Korea. It looks like an old-school vintage camera and is most definitely super cute, latched onto the back of Emily's phone that travels with her everywhere she goes. Emily is bold and every item she owns makes a statement of its own, so this adorable camera phone case is a must-have for every loyal fan. The case is available on various online shopping sites and is easy on your wallet. Number 3. More Madeline in Paris, please! Emily in Paris really has its casting choices down pat. Every character that comes on screen is unique in their own way and is promising for growth. However, one character that we're absolutely clamoring to see more of is Madeline, Emily's boss in America. It makes even more sense for us to see Madeline making a grand arrival in beautiful Paris since she was the reason Emily ended up there in the first place. Madeline has charmed the hearts of fans and everyone is excited to see how her character deals with issues beyond her pregnancy storyline. Number 2. Showrunners want audiences to travel it comes as no surprise that the labor of love that is Emily in Paris has many messages for its viewers. The show urges one to live life to its fullest regardless of bad odds, regrettable decisions, and uncertainties. The showrunners made it a point to let audiences know that the show will serve as their very own guidebook throughout Paris, urging viewers to go explore the streets of the amazing city once COVID subsides. It's a magical world in Paris, and it's even more magical getting to see the world through Emily's perspective when you step into the same streets she traversed with her friends and co-workers. It's the trip of a lifetime. Number 1. Will Emily Stay in Paris? This might be a tough question to ask since the show is rightly titled Emily in Paris, but fans had an amazing time during the Loire Valley episode as it was such an enjoyable trip and provided an excellent change of scenery and story especially because we got to see Camille's family. This beautiful episode only has us hoping for more out-of-Paris set locations throughout Season 2. Who knows, we might end up traveling to Italy at this rate. Wherever the show decides to take us on a journey next, we'll be there to witness it all in all of its beauty, because we, like Emily, are in love with the city and all the stories it has to tell. That's a wrap for 10 things to know about Emily in Paris Season 2. Which of these reveals are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments below, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.